looking at the numbers of Kane India coming in, they've reported their second quarter numbers. Uh, of course, uh, not as per estimates. It's come in below estimates. Net profits being reported at 2,280 crore rupees, and this is against an estimate of 2,370 crores. The net sales coming in at 3,980 crores, and the estimate uh, was uh, higher. It was around uh, more than 4,000 crores. Total costs have come in at 2,030 crores. Let's get a uh, perspective on this. Piyush Jain of Morningstar India is joining us on the phone line right now. Good evening, uh, Piyush. Uh, your uh, first reactions to uh, Kane India. What are the factors that have come to play here? Yeah, hi, good evening. So, uh, while I have a first look at the numbers, uh, I think the numbers are in line. If I look at the net profit, uh, it's slightly below consensus. But if you look at, uh, the first thing is... Uh, tax rate has gone up. So as per our expectations also, the, the tax which they've paid is quite high. And if I adjust for the tax, the numbers actually uh, meet our estimates. So almost the tax rate is coming close to 10% versus our uh, estimation of 5%. And this 10% is uh, in the last five to six quarters, it's the highest. So that is one thing. Second thing is uh, in the cost line items, um, it was expected. They were going to do infill drilling uh, during this quarter, so that has slightly gone up. And uh, if I look at depreciation, so there's a second item after tax, which is uh, slightly higher than the estimates. And uh, together with tax and depreciation, I think these are the two items which have slightly pulled the net profit down. Oh, and overall, if we look at uh, the numbers in terms of uh, the operational expenses, the revenue, um, everything is uh, almost in line.